we wanted to talk with you about and kind of at like the focus of part one of this two part mm-hmm. series um, is talking about how you can take your web presence and really leverage that for purposes beyond just your Etsy shop. Yeah. So my thing is like, whether you sell, like I always want people who sell on Etsy to also have their own website just for like, you know, security reasons and autonomy. But no matter where you're selling, whether that's on and off Etsy or only off Etsy or only on Etsy, there's so many opportunities beyond just like someone comes to your shop and buys something and that's the end of it. But like that, especially with Etsy sellers, that's what people hyper focus on. It's like, I need to make more sales. I have to find more customers. And my thing is like, okay, yes, obviously that's great. We want to have more customers, more sales, whatever. But if we leverage what we're putting out there into the universe on these platforms, we can attract opportunities that are so much bigger than just one person buys something from our shop and we never hear from them again. Meaning like finding, like attracting people to us who aren't necessarily customers, but who are like influencers who will share or who will collaborate with you to get you, you know, mm-hmm. it's a, the long, the long version, or the long way to get new and fresh traffic to your shop, but it's a very lucrative way that's ultimately more profitable than one person comes to your shop and makes a purchase or like big brands like Crate and Barrel, West Elm, Land of Nod, that is no longer whatever they're, <laughs> whatever it's called now. But you know, those kind of things where these bigger brands want to work with artists to develop product that involves licensing or, you know, selling their work through their channels, anthropology, Urban Outfitters. Mm-hmm. You know, Urban Outfitters has had sort of like a little bit of a shaky history with artisans, but like anthropology is constantly tapping artists mm-hmm. to do exclusive lines for them. And those people who reach out on behalf of those companies or these influencers or people who buy for the sets of movies or TV shows, they are finding us the same way customers are, but they're looking for, you know, similar things, but different. They don't care necessarily how much your shipping time is or whatever, you know, like what, how many days is it going to take to process this order? But they care about things like, can you show that you've made a lot of these things or like, what can you show us a portfolio of work or, you know, a professionalism that like your average Etsy shopper maybe doesn't care so much about. They want to see your contact info, like all that kind of stuff. People sort of forget, like there are other people out there looking that are not just like one-off customers. So I always encourage people to consider that, you know, Mm -hmm. alongside the customers that are coming because there's so many lucrative opportunities that people could be open to or would be open to and could achieve if they just made their site just as much a storefront as it is a portfolio entryway into your business. 